All right, good morning. Uh, it is, I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> I think it's Tuesday. It's the 8th of November anyway. And it is about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, Lee and Jack and Christian are out on the road. Um, we finished up really late last night. So uh, we got back at around midnight. Um, we, we stopped at our uh, break point which is where we've been having our breaks and then Lee got in the car and we drove the last bit home because that stretch of road is not great there's roadworks on it at the minute um, we have been cycling it just because it's it's basically free mileage going from there to home but Lee had already done an extra two hours yesterday so we did a seven hour block on that last last block total of 17 hours of cycling yesterday so um mega effort like absolutely in, insane effort so we, we obviously updated them about the hurricane and uh said like these are the best conditions if you can make the most of them it's really hard to say that to say to someone you need to ride more because um because this is going to happen when they've got you know 12 13 14 hours of cycling in their legs um but we gave him the information and he was not happy about it and he did a bit did a bit of cycling pulled us over at the side of the road and said, no, actually, I'm going to do some more. I thought about what you said, I'm going to do some more. And he did, and his speeds were still good. Um, and yeah, he eked out more mileage yesterday. So that's brilliant. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a hurricane update today because uh, the hurricane's due to, to, to hit tomorrow. Um, the weather today is brilliant. I think this is the calm before the storm, literally. So... Um, Lee's out and again the plan today is to make the most of the weather because it's going to turn uh, big time um, early hours of tomorrow morning potentially so um, so hurricane update I'll show you what we're looking at and what we're tracking so we've got uh, this is the storm as it's uh, where it is now so it's just off the coast and it's going to come inwards here and hit mainland now this has changed a little bit since yesterday, which is great for us. Um, I'll zoom in and show you, I really hope you can see this, um, but I'll zoom in and show you where we are. So here's like the eye of the storm up here, um, and we are riding this road here. So yesterday, this area of hurricane here was covering our road, and now it's moved a lot further north, which is obviously amazing. Um, so if that still continues north today, hopefully it will just keep getting better and better. Um, the winds are still going to be bad, like we're going to get the tail of the hurricane or the tail of the storm, but we're not going to be in it. So um, any any more movement north of that hurricane is going to be great for us. So we've, like yesterday we were on the spot thinking of loads of sort of options with regards to changing the route potentially even though I'm not sure that's the best option just because the, the winds are going to be like bad wherever it might be slightly better further south but um, as you can see on here there isn't really this is our road here there isn't really much else going on down here there's just this one road highway one that goes down um, but that's more towards the coast so that would be worse um, so we're not changing route we're, uh, we're sticking with the same route like I said, the, the, the plan now is to try and do as much cycling today and potentially go into the night again tonight, um, which which would be good, uh, you know, on paper. But if Lee's legs say no, then they say no, and that's that. So we'll see how he feels later. He's he's sort of said this morning that he's up for, for trying it, so we'll see how he feels in a bit. Um, Tomorrow morning looks maybe rideable, maybe. The winds start picking up um, around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. The trouble is, if we cycle into the night tonight, Lee's not gonna get any rest time before tomorrow. So, you know, that that's sort of out. So uh, even though it's sort of coming in a bit later than expected now, the hurricane, um, it's still probably not gonna be good enough to ride whilst giving him some rest time. Wednesday afternoon looks out completely. We're not going to be able to ride <clears throat> unless things change dramatically and potentially Thursday morning as well. Um, so, which is a, a massive shame 
massive shame. Like to do a seven day cycling record and essentially take a day off is um, is is bad. Is 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 like it's not a it's not a complete record like I say record breaker then. What's the word? <laughs> it's not a record breaker. It's not a game changer. It, it it we might still be able to break this record, which would be absolutely insane if we can whilst taking a day off. <laughs> like the the headline there is amazing, but um it's gonna be really tight. It's gonna be really tight. I was just saying this morning I can see this coming down to like the last couple of hours of of time maybe. Um because the weather on Friday and Saturday, which is our last two days of cycling, looks like okay, like good. Um, so again, we might need to push and utilize that time as much as possible. Like I said before on um, one of these other videos, the models and even the speeds and the times off the first two days that we've done, we, we could break this record by the end of day six and early day seven if we got a clear run and we got favourable conditions and we didn't have a hurricane coming in. So, um, which would have been really nice to like absolutely smash the record and and beat it by hundreds of miles. But um, that's not going to be possible anymore, um, I don't think. Whilst we're having some time off uh, to wait for this hurricane and storm to pass. Um, which is a shame, but if we can still beat it whilst having some time off, wow, that would be uh, that would be quite something. So that's the that's the situation at the minute. Um, uh, I was saying to Sally this morning, maybe this is a bit of a, a a motivator, and like he's thinking about, oh, if I could beat this whilst in a hurricane, like that would be amazing, and like it's a bit more motivation for him, isn't it? He certainly hasn't been. Um, you know, downheartened or like crushed by it, and he's he's definitely motivated to keep going and keep pushing. He's he's been really really positive about the whole thing, which is which is good. Like it would have been very easy just to say, oh, like this is so unlucky. Why me? Like we've been training for this for so long, and then we've come out here for this for the weather, for the climate, and then we get hit by a random hurricane. And yeah, it would be um, uh, it would be very easy to do that, but he's not. So um, so yeah, that's really good. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what today brings. Um, we're on the middle shift today. Uh, d depends how many shifts he ends up doing, doesn't it? But <laughs> in theory, we're on the middle shift, so we're not out this morning. Um, we got to bed at about two o'clock last night and got up at uh, seven o'clock this morning. So I'm on about five hours sleep. Um, sleeping quite well, actually, but um, just not for very long. <laughs> um, so yeah. We'll see what today brings and I will catch up with Lee and you later. All right, so we're just catching up with Lee at the side of the road. Here he is. He's had a, He's rough, looking a, bit, He's looking had a, rough, a bit rough few days, bless him. He's <laughs> just having a sunbathe. All right, we've just, uh, we are, what are we, four hours in with Lee or something for, into our five hour shift. And we've just come out to uh, a new stretch of road to wreck it a little bit. Um, because there's hurricane coming in from the east, we are checking out this stretch of road, which is more towards the west. Um, so in theory, it's forecast to have lighter winds, less rain, um, and just generally a bit better. So if it's if it's unrideable down towards the east, we might be able to drive out here and get Lee to ride up and down this stretch of road a little bit. So we're just checking it out, make sure, make sure it's okay. And it's not bad. It's like an 18 mile straight flat road. Um, so an out and back would be 36. So it's a lot less, it's a lot shorter than the stretch of road we have been using. So it's not not as good, but as I say, if that bit of road's unrideable, then this is obviously gonna be better um, with the conditions. So testing it out, see if it's an option for tomorrow and Thursday. And at the moment, it looks like it is. So um, we're just driving now to catch back up with him and then we'll check in with him when he's on his next break. All right, we just pulled over the side of the road because we need to put a light on Lee's bike. The sun is setting, such a nice evening. How are you doing? Yeah, good. It's like the beginning of the Lion King, isn't it? It's, it's amazing tonight. Such oh, good weather. Yeah. Looking good, mate. Um, so, uh, 
the wind, basically, right, conditional, ugh, conditional. Conditional. Conditions look rideable until about 4 p.m. tomorrow evening. That's good. Afternoon. Yeah. Sorry, say that again. Conditions look kind of rideable until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Um, obviously, depends on your definition, but um, if we've got the um, potentially the road bike. Every question should be answered with a question. Yeah. Does it make the distance longer for the record? Yes. And if we can ride it, it makes it longer, so we do it. We're going to do it. Cool. That's what we're do. So, um, basically, you have options. Yeah. But you have to choose. Uh, choose, you can only have yeah, one. But you have to choose one of them. <laughs> so. Um, Is one a speedboat? No. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to pack it. <laughs> Had one job. So, we. I mean, there's no A or B, but I'm going to determine them as just A and B, just because, you know, you need to tell the difference. Go on then. Um, so, plan A. Um, do today as planned. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you in the knee there. No. Um, do today as planned. Um, finish at midnight. Mm -hmm. um, go back home. Do, um, well, depending on where you want to finish. Home. Home. Cool. Yeah, because um, it was 20 minutes wasted yesterday driving. Yeah, that's fine. Minutes today. That's fine. So finish at home, mm -hmm. um, recovery stuff as normal, eating yeah, as yeah, normal. Yeah. Um, then what we were thinking, you can shoot us down if you want, um, was two hours of sleep slash lying in bed. Yeah. Um, then get out on the road again, put down 10 to 12 hours before we can't ride anymore. And then we have probably 12 hours where we're just, you can sleep. Conditions are bad. Um, conditions are bad. It's not safe. Mm. Okay, I like um, that. Plan B. Plan B um, is basically just, um, if you want to keep going tonight for longer. No. No? Um, basically, conditions wise, tonight is dry. But obviously, and tomorrow That's there's going to be, process. no? What does it say? Shit. Shit tonight? Tonight. Yeah. What time? Okay. Within uh, about two hours. Yeah, since it's, it's been a rain. Oh, it's rain, okay. Rain, yeah, and wind. Okay. But okay. that's just one. They're that's all. one. They're all good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so obviously tomorrow morning's light, tonight's dark. It did on the weather forecast we looked at, it said it's raining tomorrow but not tonight. Yeah, um, I think we but, need to um, not worry so much about the forecast because, you know, yeah. yesterday. It said we it's rode on longer because well. yeah, exactly, it's taking perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that we can control yeah. is how well rest. I'm riding so much better today than I was you yesterday. Are, yeah. Because I've had the sleep, and I think yeah. that's one thing we can control. Mm -hmm. So let's bank the sleep. Yeah. Um, so, in terms of the sleep, um, two feels a bit short. Okay, that's fine. But I'd rather see a bit of forecast when we get in, mm -hmm. just deal with the forecast for a few more hours. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we'll finish as planned at 12 at the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, recovery is normal. Um, how do you feel about pizza? I feel really good about pizza. Okay, we're gonna do some homemade pizzas. Oh, wow. Um, and yeah, recovery as usual. We'll look at the forecast. Um, you'll get some sleep. Uh, depending on the forecast, we'll determine potentially mm. how much. Um, we'll smash out some hours tomorrow and then it looks like we'll have a nice nice bit of chill time, you know, a bit of sleep time. And then we'll smash out a couple more days and break a record. How does that sound? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can get on board with that. Mm. How are your wraps? So cool. Good. Christian's a genius. Man who's never seen an avocado before, he does do them well. Yeah, yeah. Avocado, bit of balsamic in it. Ooh. Balsamic, he's changed the recipe. Blimey. Yeah. Have he's... you ever been called a genius? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been called a genius? Constantly. Constantly, Constantly yeah. It's, all, it's almost official as well, I've got a paper. Like <laughs> all right, uh, we've just finished a 30 minute break and we're about to start block three of day number three. The date is still the eighth. Yeah. of November. Uh, time of day is 
7 12 pm 1912 the location is Fort Mob Bend um, beginning of block three now hour cycle so far today 10 um, and the kilometers on the clock are 330 bang on plus the 9.7 from this morning okay we're on our way back um, you heard the plan with uh, the Sally and me were talking about so the plan tonight is to complete the 15 hours of cycling that block that we just did was the best block of cycling the best five hours of cycling that he's done all week it's, it's feeling really strong really good no complaints high spirits eating loads drinking loads um, yeah just really strong on the bike good speed sticking to the power as planned like just perfect so uh, plan tonight is just to do another five hours finish off his 15 15 hours of um, cycling for the day and then see what the forecast is for tomorrow depending on how quick the weather's going to come in depend it's going to determine how early we start tomorrow so if the weather's going to turn earlier then we'll get up earlier and get some cycling in whilst the weather's sort of acceptable but just as we're going home now i don't know if you can see this at all but the clouds are really getting thick and dark and like you can tell it's just it just doesn't look great um so yeah it all depends on what the weather's going to do but we, sh we should still be able to get a decent chunk of cycling in tomorrow which at one point didn't look like it was going to be possible the the hurricane's coming in a little bit later still so um yeah it's, it's, it looks positive um looks like we'll be able to get some good mileage in and uh, and then see when the weather gets too bad to ride and, uh, and play it by ear so i will catch up with this tomorrow morning whenever that may be